high. That's John Carter. I recorded a, a piece of piano for about 9 minutes 58 seconds. I really enjoyed playing it. There was a play on the, the chord progression of, of course, Moonlight Sonata. For those of you that guessed it, congratulations. Also, in the, sort of the chord progression, if you will, in the feeling of Corsica, which is a great piece of music that I love by Pietro Welfucci, whatever his name is. And uh, that's always, I don't know, like, it's, it's, there's something about Napoleon and Corsica and uh, Beethoven <laughs> and, and the, my delusions of grandeur. You know? There's also, it's the kind of music you hear, like, similar to like the national anthem, music by Calixa La Vallée, that grandiose, uh, grand and majestic tone of uh, some of Beethoven's, like, the, like uh, symphony or piano concertos and stuff. But really, I like to think there's a little bit of uh, Alex, which is my real name, instead of John Carter his piano. It's really fun. I like going da 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 da. That's super Beethoven. I was obsessed with Beethoven for years when I was young. I was a piano virtuoso. It maybe lost a bit of my my speed and stuff and agility with the age. Cause I'm about twice as old as I was when I first used to play piano. And today's my birthday. I'm 32 years old. It's 100,000 in binary. A one with five zeros. I'm very much uh, a uh, computation module. <laughs> when I play piano, it's uh, these pure thoughts that are coming out exactly as is translated. Not even translated. I hear. I think in, uh, in musical tones. You know? When I hear it sounds like there's an uh, air conditioner or something. Wait. Uh, you know, like I hear, I hear the tones that it's playing the wind, the current of air, has a specific tone. I don't I always remember which one it is, if it's a C sharp or whatever. Although these nights of autumn, the, the moon is always at some point a very, very strong C sharp. And Beetlejuice of the, well, it was over there last night towards the southeast, uh, or the other night, in the black moon, it was there and it was shining, that orange, sparkling, oscillation that it has is beautiful. It was also giving me C sharp went down to C or down to B flat went up to C, C sharp D and there was like an E major C sharp symphony going on in my head. And no actually I w it wasn't inside, I was hearing it the wind. The uh, the highway over the other one sixteen does a, a background noise. It's always been like C sharp in this area. It's tuned like a, the plateau that we live on, the Richelieu Valley is pretty much tuned uh, in a I was talking like the horizon, you know, that big, the whole ecosystem here, you know, the acoustic ecology has a very strong C sharp uh, uh, tonal sensor, if you will, like a resonant uh, low, 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 low C sharp at about 32 or whatever it is, hertz there. Because sound, because there's a tall mountain here, you can see right now, with the big rock face, all of the sound. There, and the acoustic cause you around. That's why I love mountains like this with a nice rocky face that everything bounces off you. Everything is measured against that strong resistant rock uh, formation so that the air, the sound of the air, the whole Richelieu Valley and around the water, there's different effects too because it, the, the air mass touches the water, touches everything. Sound is propagated omnidirectionally for different sound sources, but it's Often higher pitch sounds are more directional, with smaller waves, and you get to a point where you can see waves. It's beyond absolute pitch. I call it the awakened ear. It's uh, not fun. It's a form of clear audience. Is that you can hear what's going on, and if you want to, in the horizon, like miles away, you can pick up. It's almost like the sound that comes from there that reaches here. It's so old and gray and tired. It, it went miles, you know but it was tra transmitted, propagated through the air. But then, the birds and all that, that communicate, like the crows here, they, they go in packs of like two, three hundred, I don't know, and they, they fly, and uh, I know the acoustic ecology by heart of this area I grew up here. It's uh, every sound in Otterburn Park in the, the four o'clock in the morning in the summer when the sun's going up early. Uh, you got a whole symphony of like, crickets and birds and stuff. They're not the same as St. Hilaire. 
to that hole. This is a large body of air, you know. It goes all the way up to a stratosphere. Really. And uh, it's a dynamic complex, a dynamic uh, pneumatic system, like a big balloon. The Earth is like a, has a big balloon around it, which is the atmosphere. I study uh, ambient sound 